own up? Probably not. Okay. Up next, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who have two of the next four selections here in the second round, thanks to the Josh Allen deal last night. The move that was made up courtesy of the Buffalo Bills. So let's listen in as we head back inside AT&T Stadium. Once again, the commissioner. Hello again, Dallas. With the 53rd pick and an assist from Buffalo yesterday in the first round of the 2018 draft, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers select MJ Stewart, DB, UNC. MJ Stewart. Quicker than he is fast, under six foot, but 200 pounds. He's a physical player, in particular at the line of scrimmage. Some worried that he might be a little bit of a flag magnet at some point in his career, but I can tell you this, he does not shy away from contact. You've heard the name Mike Hughes. Well, Mike Hughes and MJ Stewart started at North Carolina together. Mike Hughes and MJ Stewart were in that altercation that ultimately led Mike Hughes to a junior college and then to UCF. But this guy, he can cover. He's got good hands. I really like his ability to be physical, and he's not going to back down from anybody. Tampa Bay is excited. Last night, Tampa Bay was on the clock at 7. They were looking at Derwin James and looking at Vita Vea. Vita Vea was rated higher. They said, is there any way we can trade back here and still get this guy? They do. And at 12, Vita Vea was there. This is one of the picks they got for the Vita Vea deal. If you look at what they've done on defense this year already, they're trying to get tougher. And this fits what Mike Smith is looking for. They get the corner here. He'll go with Hargraves and Grimes. Obviously, but you look at the rest of the offseason, whether it be Jason Pierre Paul, yep. Vita Vea, Mitch Unrein, Bo Allen, Tampa Bay went from being the soft team in the NFC South to now being a mean, tough team, and they love what they're doing here in the draft. They did choose him over Dante Jackson, though, right. which I'm surprised. Getting a good look at the Bud Light best available, according to Mike Mayock. Will the Cincinnati Bengals select one of the best available? Let's find out. TJ Hushabazili up there with the commissioner. To announce the Cincinnati Bengals selection, please welcome from Oregon State University, wide receiver TJ Bushmichada. What's up to all the Bengals fans over there? With the 54th pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Jesse Bates III, defensive back, Wake Forest. I love Jesse Bates the third from Wake Forest. This guy is rangy in the back end as a safety. 6'1", 200 pounds. I think he's going to be best as a deep safety. Think Earl Thomas, but a bigger version of Earl Thomas. He can run the alley versus Lamar Jackson. This is the type of guy that is a ball hawk. He's a smart player. A little bit of a baseball background as well. And this guy is a good player. I, I tell you, when you look at what Cincinnati did yesterday with Billy Price, and now here with this selection with Jesse Bates, they're going for guys with high football IQ. You know, they understand the game, they understand schematics. I really like Jesse Bates. I think you might be getting a little run on defensive backs too. That's what it feels like.